This is A News at 6. Bonneville Airport is scheduled to close in 2011. What that could mean for business here. Final farewell. Hundreds gathered to pay their respects to a former police chief. Supporters for U.S. war resistors descend on Barry to confront Canada's immigration minister. This is A News at 6. Barrie's South Shore Community Centre was a busy place this afternoon as members of Barrie's Pakistani community held a town hall type meeting. It was a meeting that included a special speaker and also some uninvited guests. To the nations, not the deportations. Listen to the nations. Armed with signs and an obvious message. Listen to the nations, stop the deportation. Listen to the nations. A small group of protesters gathered outside Barry's South Shore Community Centre this afternoon. Ken Marcinek was one of them. He drove up from Toronto to deliver this message. That a majority of Canadians want U.S.-Iraq war resistors to stay here and that they need to stop the deportations immediately. Canada's Immigration Minister Jason Kenney was the target of the message. Minister Kenney was inside the community centre speaking to Barry's Pakistani community about immigration law. Barry police were called to the community center to make sure the protest stayed peaceful, which it did. And the unrelated activity outside didn't seem to phase the crowd or Minister Kenny. That's democracy. Uh, everyone's welcome to freedom of expression, and that's great. One of the protesters was Kim Rivera. She's an American who has fought in Iraq, but before being deployed back to the war-torn country, moved to Canada with her family to avoid more fighting. Basically, that was my way of taking my stand and giving myself a voice. Doing so is a major offense in the U.S. and comes with jail time. It's nerve-wracking, I guess, a little bit for me, but it's just a day-by-day -day process. In June of 2008, the House of Commons passed a motion calling on the government to stop deporting war resistors from Canada back to the U.S. But since then, three Americans have been deported back to the States, and Rivera fears she could be next. I have no problems uh, going to prison for my beliefs if that's what people want me to do but I'm sure he's hell going to fight tooth and nail to keep my family intact. And it's believed about 250 American war resistors are currently living in Canada.